Black and gold Bud Light fan cans are sparking some controversy. Purdue officials say Anheuser-Busch has no right to use the school colors to endorse the beer. But some liquor store owners say the school has no right to make them remove the cans from their shelves. I've already paid for them. They're in my store. I'm probably like a lot of business owners. I'm a little bit pig-headed. I don't like being told what to do. So I think they probably have a hard time getting them out of here. Village bottle shop owner Dan St. John's ordered roughly 2,000 cases of the limited edition black and gold fan cans. He says he doesn't see why the school has the right to pull them. It's not like they're using Purdue's logo or Purdue Pete or the, you know, the train on there. It's just black and gold. We've, if you look around the store, we've got a lot of black and gold products. But Purdue officials say the fan can specifically markets the Purdue campus, and they're not a fan of that. One issue is a concern with the use of the trademark and anything that's associated with our marks, which would then imply an endorsement by the University of the program. Purdue Vice President of Marketing and Media Terry Thompson says the school has asked Anheuser-Busch to pull the product. She says one of the reasons the school wants the cans pulled is because it implies the school supports underage drinking. And we have so many programs in place to make sure that we're helping overcome issues related to underage drinking. We don't want any anything associated that would imply the opposite of that. But some Purdue students say when it comes to drinking, the colors don't matter. The parting is going to go on whether the cans are blue or green or black or gold or whatever. The color of a can isn't going to affect what goes on on a college campus. The cans have not yet been pulled off shelves. Purdue is still waiting to hear a response from Anheuser-Busch about pulling the product out of Indiana stores. St. John says it was a good promotion that he felt was marketed towards tailgaters, people over 21.